Hello, and welcome to Moscato and Tea. This is the show for all things beauty, business, and community with your host, Inez and Chiquita, keeping it raw, real, and unfiltered. What's up? <laughs> That one was good. The reason yeah. I'm laughing is because they needed to see your face. Yes. I know. That was, a, I know. You What's were like, the, I know. You're a little to the side. Yeah. I know. Get a little okay. taste, a little teeth. You know, I've been trying different intros and stuff, you know, trying to figure out what works and stuff. So we'll see. I know. I was, I was expecting your singing. Yeah. yeah. You like the singing? No. Oh. But that's <laughs> why so I was expecting the singing. Do you all hear it, how it, she it, treats me? It, no. Don't she, like the singing. The shade is so real. That's okay. Well, we could, well you know, one day we could go karaoke mm-hmm. and you could get it all out of your system. See? You ain't no better. <laughs> I know. I stay in my lane. I said like, God did I'm not get very versatile. I know. I just said God knew not to give me a voice because y'all think Beyonce is something. Ha! Huh? I would have taken over Listen, the world. <laughs> leave be alone. Leave the queen alone. I just said you all thought she... I, what did I say? I, I just said Listen, I would have been bigger. That's anyway. All in my mind. We have another queen here today. Uh, yes, we do. So I'm very happy. Yes, we finally uh, got her in and yes, I'm excited. I know. It's been a year in the making of trying to get her in. But that's the show. Yeah. She's super busy because yes. she's good at what she yes, does. Yes, exactly. So, so you want to go ahead and I'm do really, the, really excited. Yeah. Everybody, please welcome a very special guest and our friend, Michelle Blackwell. Hello, Hello. Michelle. Yes. Hi. How are you? I am well. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Dealing with this one over here, but Girl, bye. doing good. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. Yes. Yes. Happy birthday. Yes. yes. She's yeah. been I, you flying know. and going and doing so much stuff. You know, so it's just trying to pin her down for a second. It's just, it's crazy. I so, know. You know, but as you know, and she know, you're a very busy lady, as we said. Yes. What is going on with you? Wow. You know, <laughs> never a dull moment. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're just, you know, hanging in every day, working mm-hmm. and working, doing the best we can. You know, mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, well, you know, I have a portrait studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we just did a butterfly a pop up portrait event mm-hmm. this past couple weekends ago and um, brought in live butterflies. And it was really fun. Nice. Wow. Really, yeah, no, yeah. See, I'm always busy. Well, I, I know. Yeah. I would have been there just yeah. like. Well, I know you um, You have your own studio, uh, photography studio and everything. And I know that our other friend, um, they do perform- live performances and singers there as well. Yeah, Tiffany um, came to Tiffany the space. Tiffany does a lot of did, space. Yeah. People do a lot of different things in your studio, and which is And she's coming amazing. again in a couple of weeks. Awesome. And do another show. Yep. Yeah. So what made you decide to open up your own um, business, studio photography business? Well, you know, having a studio, a physical studio space mm-hmm. has been a dream of mine for, I guess, maybe a decade, more than a mm-hmm. decade. And I just didn't have the wherewithal to make it happen, especially mm-hmm. in L.A., mm. because um, it's so expensive mm-hmm. here. And I was really blessed, you know, uh, uh, coming up on two years, it'll be two years in June. Mm-hmm. I uh, woke up one Saturday morning mm-hmm. and um, I said uh, – uh, it wasn't actually June. June was when I signed the lease. It was May because it was the Saturday before Mother's Day. Mm-hmm. And I woke up and out of a dead sleep and said, mm-hmm. I'm going to get a studio today. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was the craziest notion I, mm-hmm. that popped in my head at the, when you wake up. But mm-hmm. I w- got a cup of coffee mm-hmm. and I went to my computer and I sat down and I turned on Craigslist and there was this ad for a studio space. That was a mm-hmm. And I looked at that the rent was very low. Mm-hmm. And so I discounted it and was like, this, this can't be in a great mm-hmm. space because the rent is so low. Yeah, right. I moved on, kept looking at other stuff. Didn't find anything, mm-hmm. and um, this voice said, "Go take a look at it." So I, mm-hmm. I grabbed my dog. I was like, "Let's get in the car, cricket." And we went. <laughs> we did a drive by, and I drove by, and it was a it was a storefront, mm-hmm. and it's the, so dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the woman who was who had it, it was a dry cleaners actually, mm-hmm. and she was just put, walking up and opening the door mm-hmm. when I pulled up. Mm-hmm. So I parked the car and I went over and I said, "Hi." I, you know, I, I saw this advertised on Craigslist and she goes, yeah, because I'm going to close my business. And I was like, can, can I just kind of peek in? And mm-hmm. I know it's not really supposed to disturb mm-hmm. the tenants, but mm-hmm. can I just kind of walk through? And I walked through and I was like, this this would work. Mm-hmm. I could a, do this. Mm-hmm. And um, so she said, she goes, I like you. I'm going to tell mm-hmm. the landlady that I like you and I mm-hmm. want you to have it. And she did. Mm-hmm. And I um, – I put down uh, my application and everything, and the next day was Mother's Day. And I said, well, I'm not going to hear anything because mm-hmm. it's, mo- it's Sunday, mm-hmm. it's Mother's Day. Right. And I said, I looked up my mother's passed away. I looked up at the heaven. I was like, Miss Annie, any help you can give me, it'd mm-hmm. be great. 
And um, the next morning, 11 o'clock, the phone rang. The woman said, you know, I like you. You you got your application right away. And mm-hmm. I like people who get stuff done. It's yours if you want it. And that was – that's how Magic. it came that's, to yeah. be. Yeah. 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 It was meant to be. Yeah. yeah. And I have to say, your studio is super cute. It is a storefront. Mm-hmm. I walked in. I was like, you know, this is so cute. I wish mm-hmm. I would have found something like this yeah. when I was looking for a place, you know, besides a studio. Mm-hmm. You know, something small, mm-hmm. has a kitchen, a beautiful clean bathroom. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's so cute. And it's really great. And it, I, I was looking at it um, for doing photo shoots, speaking of which, because mm-hmm. me and yes, she, me we and have a photo we, shoot. We got to do it. You know, I thought excited. about it. I was like, oh, it's going to be so much fun up in here. Having a great time, mm-hmm. and we've done a photo shoot before. You do yeah. uh, absolutely amazing work. She, I'm not, believe it or not, as big as my personality and my mouth is. Yes. I'm not big. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm not big on taking pictures. I've never been big on that. Mm-hmm. Even as a kid, I was never one to sit there and love the camera. Mm-hmm. And so, um, even now, I'm like, Ugh, I gotta take a picture. Mm-hmm. But um, Michelle had a way of bringing out like mm-hmm. my personality through it and making me feel comfortable when I was doing my photo shoot mm-hmm. that I was like, I would totally do it again because mm-hmm. I've worked with other people. I'm like, mm, no, yeah. I'm not even going there. Uh, you know, I'm not very comfortable, mm-hmm. but she made it so much fun. And um, so I was so excited to hear like, hey, Michelle's looking again. I was like, uh, you had your studio. I was like, I'm totally down. Mm-hmm. And so Chiquita and I were like, um, Let's do, I want to do my own because I need that yeah. for my own business. Yeah. She needs hers for her own business, but we also need for here because people mm-hmm. are always like, what do you all look like? Mm-hmm. I'm cute, but you know, we'll let that go. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's not about you today. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, um, so what made you decide to do photography? Yes, that's you know, cause that's, know. Yeah. to be a photographer, you have to have an eye. Mm-hmm. You have to see things. You see mm-hmm. things differently mm-hmm. than the average person who's just on their phone taking mm-hmm. a picture. You know, what, what was, how did that all become? Well, you know, I, my, I, my undergraduate degree is in television and film. So I started out as a film major and I came out to Los Angeles and started doing marketing um, for a small independent studio mm. and took a totally different direction. So mm. I was at that studio. The uh, head of marketing for that studio said, if you want to get ahead in the business, you need to get an MBA. Mm-hmm. So I went back to school and got an MBA. And I thought I was going to do marketing. Like, I thought that was my thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and kind of didn't do film. And But I think I credit film with with giving me a visual sense because mm. I – I can talk that's to the, yeah, about that. Yeah, right, the background – um, and then uh, fast forward, you know, a while, and I found myself being the VP of marketing for a national a national photography chain. Mm. So I wasn't the photographer, but I was the mm-hmm. person that was responsible for getting business in the door. And my mom got sick, and um, I flew back home, and she said to me before she went to the hospital, "I want to have our portraits taken," mm-hmm. and I didn't want to go. Because I don't have my picture taken. Mm-hmm. Photographers are the worst yeah. subjects, yeah. right? Yeah. And so I didn't want to go. And, but I did because it was her birthday. Her birthday was coming up in a few mm-hmm. days. And I said, okay. Um, and I went. We had our portraits taken. And um, the day after her birthday, she went into the hospital for a routine mm-hmm. surgery. And she never came home. Mm-hmm. And um, the photographs that I didn't want to take really became my most cherished mm-hmm. possessions. They were so they mean so much to me now. Right. So glad that I went mm-hmm. and didn't, you know, wasn't stubborn. Right. Um, and it really, her passing really was that um, motivation for me. I was like, I want to be able to give other people these, what I call wall worthy portraits, oh, legacy, okay. quality images that tell their story. And that's really the motivation mm-hmm. that. That got me going. Now, ironically, after she passed, I had no idea because she never talked about it. But I went going through her stuff, mm-hmm. and I found a Nikon SLR mm-hmm. from the 1970s. Oh, so wow. she was a shutterbug, oh. and I found pictures of her with mm-hmm. her camera that my stepfather had taken, mm-hmm. like, taking all of her photography. And I found pictures of her. Um, at her art table because she was also a designer, which she never talked about. Oh, wow. And so she hate, she hated that I did graphic design. She was like, you just want to be poor, don't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> but that – so I feel like she's – Mm-hmm. You know, like it's right. a legacy. Mm-hmm. Like she's, yeah. I love it. And speaking of which, you did do my daughter's senior portraits, mm-hmm. by the way, that came out amazing. I mm-hmm. have them on the wall to the point where um, when I sent out her um, senior invitation and did mm-hmm. all of this stuff, um, 
the following year, she had other people doing the same thing that you had done, Mm -hmm. like, you know, um, a photo shoot and everything else. And um, I am that stage mom where they had to kick me out. Yes. But (laughs) I, you know, my daughter loved it. She loved the feeling. She thought Mm -hmm. it was great. You brought out something in her because she is a little bit more shyer than Mm -hmm. her mom. But you brought out something in her and the pictures are amazing. I look Mm -hmm. at him on my wall all the time. I was like, you know, boo, he looks Mm -hmm. so cute. She's like, oh, mom, whatever. But it was, you know, it's one of those things that to the point where my Mm -hmm. daughter was so comfortable they had to kick me out mm-hmm. and she's like why are you making I was like okay fine no problem yeah. you know but um, you did that too so you have a tendency uh, you I know we know you work with young you know teens mm-hmm. um, you do all kinds of other things um, highly recommend if you're in the LA mm-hmm. area and you have a senior and you want to do like mm-hmm. something outside of the traditional uh, senior portrait mm-hmm. Um, uh, looking at Michelle and getting your senior into her studio and doing some really fun, mm-hmm. um, portraits of themselves because now my daughter looks at it and goes oh that was my good cheer Mm -hmm. she was in her cheer uniform and then they put her in this really pretty uh, designer dress and she's like oh my gosh so you know that's something that um, I highly recommend it was very cherishable and even now we look at it and we're like dude those are some dope ass pictures no that's awesome that's that's great to hear that's what I want I want people to enjoy Mm -hmm. their sessions I want people to come and have a good Mm -hmm. time I want them to feel welcome in the space you know, it should be fun. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh! It should, it should yeah. be fun. No. It shouldn't be like a thing where you're if you're if you're nervous and unhappy, mm-hmm. you're not taking a great picture. Yeah, yeah. No, and I'm one. Out. Yeah, I'm yeah. one. I hate to yeah. it, like I said. Yeah. And by the time we were done, I was like, oh shoot, I feel like I'm a model up in here. I was like, <laughs> and hey, we know you hey. ain't. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Keep with the shade because we're about to get down up in here. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. listen, I'm just saying. W- one thing I wanted to touch on because we talked about it in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, where you used to do film, and I know you did this documentary um, with um, horses and stuff like that. Can you talk about a little bit about that and how that's going and what you're doing now with film? Yeah, well, the documentary with horses is still going. Still going, okay. It's coming up on six years, which mm-hmm. I was depressed about at first, and I started talking to other documentary filmmakers, and they were like, no, mm-hmm. that's about right. Wow. It takes a long time to get it done. But, um, yeah, I started a documentary about America's wild horses. Mm-hmm. Most people don't even know that we have wild horses that live in the wild still mm-hmm. wow. in this country. Um, we have about 27,000 left when wow. we used to have about 200,000. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, they're being threatened. Uh, their freedom is being threatened, even though Congress passed an act saying mm-hmm. that they had the right to be free and stand mm-hmm. where they are in America's West. Now we want to use the land that they stand on for mm-hmm. fracking and uh, oil pipelines Ugh. and cattle ranching and and so um, people are coming after the horses and wanting to remove them. Mm. And uh, it's really a shame because mm-hmm. the horses originated in the North American mm-hmm. continent. Mm-hmm. So they came yeah. across the Bering Strait. This is their home. Um, they're native to mm-hmm. this continent. Um, they're, they've been here longer than we have. Yeah. Right. And yeah. Um, unfortunately, once they're gone, they're gone. We won't be able to. We won't be right. able to change that. Yeah. Um, horses. Um, are truly being managed into extinction by big business. Mm -hmm. Well, like everything else in this world, you know, big business is is like taking, they don't realize that the minute that they're gone, like every Mm -hmm. other creature that is gone, that it was part of this earth Mm -hmm. changes the dynamic of this earth. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, their horses are here for a reason Mm -hmm. and they've been here for a really long time for a reason. And they're such beautiful, gentle, Mm -hmm. loving creatures like, you know, as not a creature, but just, you know, an animal Mm -hmm. that's, you know, they're gorgeous and, you know, they're, they're coats and they're, Mm -hmm. you know, they're amazing. They're smart, you know, and to hear that um, big business wants to get rid of them um, just so they can pump oil and do all this stuff um, is, is, is sad. Yeah. It's saddening and it's maddening. That's why sometimes even with this crazy uh, 45 um, allowing um, oil pumping mm-hmm. to go through Native American land and yes. doing all of this, yeah. changing the dynamic that, you know, horses mm-hmm. have been here forever. Yeah. And have, you know, people ride horses like, you know, they're all this mm-hmm. stuff. So um, I'm looking forward for you to uh, finish that yeah. off and put that out. Like, Are I you think doing any a- um, type of like um, GoFundMe type of situation with it or are you just... Doing like events at all? We haven't done. Uh, yeah, we haven't done a GoFundMe yet. What we've been doing is really working uh, with trying to apply for grants, mm-hmm. and uh, we've been doing the grant process for for quite a while. Um, we might do a GoFundMe or crowdfunding mm-hmm. in the future because we're close. We have yeah. a few things left to do before we're okay. just ready to sit down in the editing room. But we were hoping to kind of catch a fire with some some funding mm-hmm. organizations or distribution companies, mm-hmm. and so far nothing's really 
caught fire. So yeah. well, hopefully, we may go to the crowdfunding route to yeah. complete well, it. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully, you know, you do get that and um, get that fire because I think it's really important. I don't think people realize and I don't think it's out there. You know, it's mm-hmm. that hidden that hidden thing that nobody yeah. really knows about. Because yeah. until right now, you're telling yeah. me I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. And most people don't even when when you say America's mm-hmm. Wild Horses, they, they kind yeah. of look at nobody. you. Yeah. Like what? Like what? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it's no yeah. Book. No, yeah. big time, mm-hmm. big time. What else do you have coming up? Well, we've got a, a new a portrait series. We're going to do another series of mm-hmm. portrait pop-up events. Okay. So oh, we're nice. finding people like this. We're going to do a bloom portrait, so we don't know exactly oh. when, but inspired by the big super bloom that's mm-hmm. going on, we're that's going to cool. transform the studio space nice. into a flower wonderland mm-hmm. and have people come in and do portraits as, as an open house, mm-hmm. okay. working on that. Um, and then working on some other documentary mm-hmm. ideas that we're trying to to uh, get to get going, yep. yeah, perfect. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, if let's say some people, kids, or in college or anything like that, or high school, that are looking to get into that realm of photography, what would you suggest for them, or someone wanting to start a business in a photography business? What would you suggest for them? Well, if you if you want to be a photographer, the first thing you have to do is get yourself a DSLR mm-hmm. camera. Mm-hmm. And uh, iPhone photography is great, mm-hmm. but it's. It's just the, the dynamic same. range is just mm-hmm. not the same. And you really want to get a camera that you can use manually and you can learn how to artistically control mm-hmm. the exposure and the shutter speed and the composition and really master that. Mm-hmm. And that's the first thing. And then when you're there, you have to decide if you love it. So I tell yeah. people, I'm a, you know, I'm a geek. Mm-hmm. You know, if, if I'm in a, if I'm taking it, doing a session with you and I, there's, you'll hear me squealing behind the camera when I get to see a, you know, mm-hmm. a shot that I like. I'll be like, oh, mm-hmm. I love it. It's so great. <laughs> um, and so you make sure you love it. Make mm-hmm. sure you love it. Cause it's, it's a hard road. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's a hard road. It's, there's lots of struggle. Um, I was just talking to a group of people. I hosted a salon in my mm-hmm. space, uh, last weekend. We were talking about social media marketing mm-hmm. and being entrepreneurs and, yes. and, oh. The thing that I said to people was the the very first question you have to ask yourself is what is your why? Mm. And your why, like what gets you up every every morning and makes you come back to your business? Mm -hmm. Vagina. Yes. Right? And your why has got to be bigger. It's got to be big. It's got to be uh-huh. almost scary big mm-hmm. because it has to be bigger than you. Because if it's out, my why is I'm paying the rent and there are going to be days on you're not going to get up because you don't care. But if your why is big, mm-hmm. it'll get you up when times are hard, when mm-hmm. you get you doing the stuff that you don't want to have to deal with because the why is so important. And, and I think that's, you know, why do you have a camera in your hand and why do you want to mm-hmm. take a picture? Make sure your why is big, you know. Yeah, so that's, true. that's yeah. so true. I mean, you know, uh, us being um, – uh, entrepreneurs and I, you know, my why is big. Mm-hmm. I love what I do. Mm-hmm. It, regardless what anybody wants to say, even the days, there are days, don't get me wrong, I do not want to get up and go, mm-hmm. but I still take my ass up and mm-hmm. I go. Yeah. And once I'm in my place of mm-hmm. business, I go, oh, this is why I'm yeah. here, damn it. Yeah. This is why I love it. Mm-hmm. This is why it is. And then I get excited again. Mm-hmm. And um, I, believe it or not, I mean, I'm excited. My why is huge. Mm-hmm. Um, I even started um, teaching because my why is so big. Yeah. Um, because I want to pass it on to others and give give what I got and, mm-hmm. you know, so forth, where my business business is suffering just a little bit because I'm so busy doing, you know, I'm taking a different path, but I still love my business. It's just now finding again the why mm-hmm. with my social media because, yeah. you know, I find that when I post and I do things, I just do it because I like it. Mm-hmm. it you know, I find something funny. I post it. It's mm-hmm. not a big deal. I'm like, haha, I get a lot of, you know, reactions from mm-hmm. things. Um, so again, it's again, finding that why and us doing, I got so many, sh- you know, so I'm juggling so many different yeah. Things finally uh, got an assistant, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Finally, my getting an assistant to help me like put everything in order. But I think you're very correct on that. Having a why, mm-hmm. and when you do a session with Michelle, you understand her why, mm-hmm. and that makes you comfortable in taking pictures and expo because taking a picture is. Really, literally exposing yourself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like that's why I get it when I, you know, I'm waxing somebody. They're naked on a bed. Mm-hmm. They're literally exposing themselves, and mm-hmm. it can, you can be very, very vulnerable. You know, and if you're not comfortable with the person who you're exposing yourself with, it's not going to show uh, well. Yeah. So with you um, exposing myself in a way that I'm not comfortable was very comfortable. Because of your why and how much you love Mm -hmm. and you could tell like, you know, she felt me uncomfortable. She's like, Inez, it's okay. Come on. Okay. Why don't you do a funny face or why don't you do? And slowly it's just started. Mm -hmm. It's almost like 
started Flo- cracking yeah. and yeah. flowing. And then I saw the pictures mm-hmm. and I was like, wow, that's me. Mm-hmm. And that's so me in a different way. And you can express yourself so well in a picture of yourself. Mm-hmm. I think nowadays everybody in social media just posts like these crazy pictures and yeah. these things that are so, but it doesn't show who they are. Yeah. Yeah, it's what they want you to see, yeah. and um, that's what For makes you, yeah. It's that's what makes you, I think, very unique in that sense. We don't see a lot of that. Um, Herb Ritz was one that would, um, you know, you would see his pictures, mm-hmm. and you would be like, "Yo, that's such an expression," or mm-hmm. uh, that he exposed them in such a mm-hmm. way. That it was, you know, and so forth. And I think you're, you know, you're on that level for me. You're on that high. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're on that very high level. Just, you know, we're in a, yeah, I think it's very, you're just underrated in a way that I don't think people have really, you know, how, have you ever thought about doing like a gallery sh- with all your photos mm-hmm. oh, or, yeah. you know, uh, an exposition like that? Cause I think that would be really awesome. And I think it would give you a little bit more exposure on people realizing that you are a really amazing and very talented photographer. Well, thank you very much. Um, I actually have a passion project that I'm about to launch. I don't have any images mm-hmm. done yet, nice. but I, I, um, it's, I call it, um, I have, well, maybe you guys can help me with the name. Mm-hmm. So I've got, um, something I'm called Brave Portraits. That's one of the things I wanted to, I'm considering. And the other is I am woman. Mm-hmm. And so I like that. what I really wanted to do is to celebrate women. Um, and it, it really, we have a friend in mm-hmm. common, Tiffany. Mm-hmm. And, um, Tiffany and I had, were talking a couple of months ago and, uh, we were talking about this stuff in the news about women who were Muslim being mm-hmm. attacked, you mm-hmm. know, right. in, yes. and, 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 and it broke my heart because mm-hmm. I I felt like in in America you know we can criticize a woman for covering up and we'll mm-hmm. criticize her for taking her clothes, clothes off, off right mm-hmm. right we'll criticize yes. her for being Anything. too skinny we'll yeah. criticize her for being too fat mm-hmm. and um, it's really sad because it takes us out of the realm of understanding that all of us are women and mm-hmm. we come in different shapes and sizes and we come in different ages we mm-hmm. come you know some of us um different sexual orientations mm-hmm. i mean some of us were born um not born women and we identify mm-hmm. as women mm-hmm. um and so i really wanted to do a project where we had really holistic mm-hmm. realistic compelling portraits of women from all walks of life That'd be nice. um and that i think could be a show yeah, yeah. Uh, that's celebrating you know, women of all something types. Something like I am yeah. here. Yeah. I am here. Like, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. I, you know, yeah. exciting. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, you better call me, girl. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it, that's a really that's great. So with all that said, where are you located? at? Yes. We're located on uh, the west side of Los Angeles. We're at uh, 1410 Stearns Drive. Um, we're near the corner of Pico and Crescent Heights, mm-hmm. near LACMA and Fairfax, and that's one of my favorite places mm-hmm. to take people outside. Yeah, the yeah. LACMA, I guess. Yeah. That was cute. Yes, we went there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then um, if somebody wanted to, are you just like, do you have business hours or is it by appointment? How does it work? We work by appointment, uh-huh. and you can book an appointment on our site, which is www.mabstudioportraits.com, and we have a, you can book online and any day of seven days a week. Um, really no set office hours. We work on your time. We can do portraits in the evenings, in the mornings, whatever mm-hmm. works for people's schedules. Really that's flexible. Perfect. perfect. And so um, yeah. that's awesome. And so yeah. with that, tea, tea time. time. <laughs> <laughs> so as we said earlier, you know, we like to do a little tea time, a little rapid fire questions, just to get to know you a little bit better. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start it out. Okay. Worst habit. Worrying. That's me. (laughs) That is so me. Okay. Guilty pleasure. Mm, New York cheesecake. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Favorite president, dead or alive? Wow. That's hard. Okay. I have two. (laughs) I have two? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jimmy Carter and Barack Obama. Okay. 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 All right. All right. And that's what you got for? Uh, Favorite superhero and why? Oh, Wow. Favorite superhero. Okay. I got to say Wonder Woman. Okay. Oh, what? Well, yeah. yeah, she's, she's right. pretty dope. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Original Wonder Linda Carter. Yeah. Linda yeah. Carter. Okay. <laughs> Linda Carter. Yeah. Yeah. Taking it way back. Okay. Yeah. Um, celebrity crush. Oh, Shamar Moore. <laughs> I love it. She's so funny. She said, and she yes. melted. Yeah, oh, I, I did. I know. <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. And then um, last but not least, um, if you could work with anybody in your industry, who would it be and why? Wow. I think if I could work with anybody in the industry, um, in photography, Mm -hmm. it would probably be Annie Leibovitz. Oh, Oh, yeah. 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 I could see that. Mm -hmm. And it's because uh, there's something, a simple elegance to Mm -hmm. her portraits. True. Yeah, yeah, she just everybody. clearly captures captures truth. Yeah, very without a lot of ostentatiousness, mm-hmm. a lot of fanfare, and I really respect that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we just put that in the air. Yes, yes. I got one more for it. you. Yeah. Last book you read? Um, what was the name of the book? Oh, it's this. It was a Seth Godin book, and it was. I'm <laughs> blinking on the name. I think we got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Stump, stump. That's okay. We stumped yeah. her. That's, That's good. Okay. You stumped me. Yes, what it's okay. I'm lost in the name. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I love Seth Godin. Yeah, so I like. I read all this. Okay, books, yeah. nice. Well, once again, it's been amazing having you here. So please tell everybody where they can find you once again. Yes. So we are on the West Side at 1410 Stearns Drive, and find us online at www.mabstudioportraits.com, and find us on Facebook at Mab Studios. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, lovely. Yeah. So again, thank you so much, Michelle. It's been a long time in the making. Thank you for um, having me. Uh, yeah. Yes. So of course, of course, we look forward to our session. As a matter of fact, um, we'll talk a little bit. Maybe we might do something a little live with our session mm-hmm. in our studio so our um, we'll followers do. and stuff can kind of see how you yeah. work and yeah, how that would be. Yeah, absolutely. would yeah, love that. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll work something out so yes. that way they can see a little bit more of what we're talking about mm-hmm. and, you know, with me and uh, my lovely co-host here. With yeah. her shade. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> and so again, you guys, thanks so much always for listening. Mm-hmm. Um, we will see you um, next, next time. time. And uh, well, you know, lady, yeah. you yeah. have a good one with your shade. I, you know what, I, you know what, I could take it. I uh-huh. could give it out, but I'm not really sure if I could take it too exactly. much. Exactly. <laughs> see, that's the problem with you. Mm-mm. You know, it's all love. Anyway. Anyways, until next time, everyone. <laughs> see you see later. later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thanks for listening. Take a little time to enjoy your brand of Moscato and tea with us every day. Subscribe, rate, and follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and MoscatoandTea.com.